Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a very exciting video and it's a little bit different. Uh, I should probably address the fact that I've got two different eye looks on. So the main reason for this video is to showcase the Modern Renaissance palette, which mine is grubby. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you two different ones, one on each eye. I wanted to do like a pink smoky eye on this eye and like show you that you can actually get like a cool tone look if you that's what you like. Because obviously this palette is well sought after for its warm tones. But of course I want to show you that you can get cool tones out of this palette as well. It's a very versatile and you can get really whatever sort of look that you want. The main reason for wanting to use this palette in this video is because I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So all the rules or like instructions will be listed in the down bar so in the description below this video if you just click that it'll have all the instructions in there if you want to look at it so all you have to do is thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel eh, and leave me a little comment with your like twitter name or instagram or whatever so i'll leave that in a link in um, a list down below though if you forget if you want to see how i got these different eye looks and enter this giveaway then just stay tuned so I'm starting off with Golden Ochre which is just a transition shade, it sort of matches my skin tone and just using that all over my eye with a fluffy brush. And then I'm going to mix Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange just to get like a really nice warm transition and basically just doing the exact same with the same brush just using that as another transition shade because using pinks it is a little bit harder to blend out. And then after that I'm going to go in with Real Gar which is a really nice like warm pinky orange, it's such a pretty colour and just blending that just in my crease just to start getting that shape of like a winged shape as well and then I'm just blending that out with the brush I just used for Rossi and Unburnt Orange just to make sure there's not any harsh lines and to start the pink I'm going in with Venetian Red which is like a more of a ready pink like the name would suggest um, I'm just using that on the 217 and starting to put that in my crease in my inner corner and just really focusing on making that wing shape because I like to have my eyeshadow like pulled out then I'm going with Love Letter which is more of like a pinky purpley colour, like more of like a cool tone pink. Um, and I'm really just working on packing that on the outside corner and bringing that over my eyelid. I did want it to sort of cover my whole eyelid and just have that pop of like brightness on the inner corner because I really like the way that looks when it's like the smoked out pink into the orange. I think that looks really pretty. Then just for that pop of brightness I'm using Tempera which is like the lightest matte shade in the, sha in the palette, sorry. So I'm using that on my brow bone and on my inner corner and just sort of bringing that up onto the eyelid just so it doesn't look like I'm sort of ill or whatever with the pinks around your eyes. And that is the finished look on top of the eye with a nice blown out pink smoky eye. Then I'm just going in with um, Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange again and then Real Gar. So basically just copying the steps that I put on top underneath. Then I started to blend out um, Venetian Red under my eye and then I thought that it wasn't getting enough pigment for me so I started to pack it on just with that brush, just sort of tapping along the lash line, mixing Venetian Red and Love Letter together just to get that pink look that I wanted just to match the top. And once you're done smoking that out, I'm just blending it out again with a the brush, then that is that side done. So for the next look, again just going in with Golden Ochre. Um, I do like a warm transition even in a cool tone smoky eye so then I'm going in with raw sienna and missing out the burnt orange this time because it is more of like a cool tone earthy like neutral colour without the warm undertone um, and just blending that all over as a transition again just the same as on the other side and then I'm going to go in with warm taupe which I've never actually used before and I was a bit like scared when it went on my eye first because it looked a bit ashy with the warm colours but once it was blended out it was actually a really really nice sort of grey toned brown and it's actually really pretty it surprised me that I liked it so I was just going to copy the shape that I did on the other side but when I was started to do this I decided I wanted to make it more of a halo eye. So I was just blending out those edges and then packing it on on the inside and outside corners. Then I went in with Antique Bronze which is a bit shimmery but I mixed it in with that Cypress Umber colour. And again just packed it on the outside corner and the inner corner and I really liked the way this blended into that warm taupe shade. It just looked like a really nice cool tone smoky eye with like the warm edges. It looked really really pretty. How many times can I say pretty? And then for the pop of like a silvery pink in the middle, I went in with Vermeer. So there's two shimmers in this palette, one's more of a gold and one's more of like a pinky silver. And of course I went with that one. I did spray my brush with a little bit of um, setting spray. And then I went in with Raw Sienna underneath again. And again, just copying the same steps. So using that warm taupe on the outer corner and the inner corner, really just making sure to pop that on quite heavily. So it makes sure that the brown blends out nice and it doesn't look like you've got like big bags under your eyes 
and then just going in with that mixture of antique bronze and cypress umber and then put in vermeer just in the center again just to make that middle pop like a halo and once you're finished here is your warm smoky eye and your cool tone smoky eye so of course these are just a couple of looks that you can create with this palette because the pigment and the colors in this are amazing and there's so many different things that you can do with it um, these are just two of my like favorite looks i wanted to show you So I hope you liked that video. I know it's a bit different and a bit weird to look at like because I've got two different eyes on. I'm really excited to be doing this giveaway and don't forget that all the rules or all the like, yeah, rules will be linked, um, will be listed in the description box down below. So if you just follow them, it's going to be open until the 2nd of August and you'll be in with a chance of winning one of these. Um, thank you so, so much for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I'd love to have you around to see the rest of my video. Yeah, I think that's it. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.